Farsi Sale take Hereford win by four goals to nil. Josh Canning is with me. Uh, how do you gauge that win today? Yeah, pleasing. Um, I think we were all wasteful at, at times um, in the final third. I think um, one minute left, we really want to put the bed, the bed, the game to bed uh, before half time, and I think we had enough chances to do that. I think we kind of. game that you think well it was a chance as well for Farsley just before half time. Yeah I think on our pitch that just slides in the back of the net so I think it I think it a mole popped out and headed it wide so <laughs> we were pleased with that but no exactly you know one one nil is a, one of those precarious score lines where if you let teams get back in a, a little set like that and they're back in they get the tails up and then you know especially teams down the bottom they're fighting for everything you know and, and to be fair they did stick on us especially the first half I thought I thought they did well you know they put pressure on us and I, I thought we dealt with the elements well. How important was it to mix it a little bit today because as you say the surface was not good yeah you know we, I said to the lads I said you know we need to get it down and play as much as we can what they want to do is come and play their game plan which was just go long constantly so we did try and get on the ball at times and get switched to playing and get a ball in wide areas where we have a bit more time to have a, you know and then we could go at players and I thought obviously Ryan did that well I thought Seb was absolutely excellent at left back he got forward you know, all the time we talked to Nesh off at half time because he was on a yellow and, and you know the ref you know that the, the, their striker was getting on him a bit, so we just thought we'd, we'll bring Skip on, just just send this down a bit, and you know, obviously work for us. Back to back victories, you were looking for that. Yeah, please. You, you, you want to get a, a response. You know, obviously in any game, you don't really need to get out for that. It's a given. So you know, you want to see the lads' mentality. I wanted to see how far we've come because the last time we were here, we went two-one, and we're a completely different team now than what we were two two seasons ago. So it shows the progression in the, in, in the side, which is really pleasing. And I know they've had a few hard times here, but you've got to be also in front of you. And, and the lads did that. You've talked about getting closer towards those playoff positions. You're even closer today now. I think it's two points away uh, from that, and you've got a chance to further emphasize your prospects with Gloucester City at home on Tuesday. Yeah, you know, we, like we said, we want to progress. You know, we just want to elevate everything we're doing. So, you know, we've got our eye on that, um, and it's again, it's pleasing that we're talking about that, those kind of things. And you know, we, we, we played. I know a few people in Kitty. Um, them after the game, they said, I can't believe you're not in the mix already. So, you know, we had a bit of a forward start, I would say, at the start of the season. Um, but now we're starting to come good and hopefully we'll hit form now from now to the end of the season. Brought Mo Torre in, scores on his debut. Uh, how do you think uh, he'll fare at Edgar Street in the, in the months to come? Yeah, I've been trying to get Mo for about two years now. So all the fans are moaning at me about number nine. It's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, but he's brilliant. He come on, he gives an injection of energy. He's, he moves well. He looks for balls in behind. He links play up well and, you know, real great composure for the goal. I thought it was excellent. It took his time and slide it well. And competition for Janai Gordon up there? Yeah, I mean, we've brought him in. Obviously, Miles has obviously come out of the team for a minute. Mazzy's been doing well. So now all of a sudden, we've got good competition there. We've got good competition in the full-back areas, in midfield. And, and, and at the back now, with Christian available. So we've got real competition in the squad. What's your target? Are you allowed to give us a target points-wise over the next, say, four games? Big games coming up. Four, we've already got a target. We're, we're, we're more than halfway yeah, through. That we're target. halfway through our targets. So no, no, targets are staying house. Um, it's, it's important that the lads stay focused. So I don't want um, that going out and putting too much pressure on them. So yeah, but we're on our way to our target. Thanks very much for your time. No problem. We've got the captain back on this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, no, no. He, he, He's, he's been out for a while, he's, he's been back training and you know, a, a game like today at 1-0 when the referee's throwing a few yellow cards around, you're just thinking, oh, so I'll fall back all down the yellow. Uh, we just wanted to steady the ship down a little bit and we didn't want, Dinesh has been absolutely brilliant. So he played well again today, but you know, looking at him on a yellow and the striker kept peeling on him and those, those few tussles, you just don't want to run the risk. So we thought we'd bring Skip on and just steady the ship a little bit. And as Keith was just uh, saying, you're going to have Christian Pierce back or available on Tuesday yeah. night. It's going to throw a few problems up. Little... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're good problems to have, I suppose. Well, actually, they're not, actually, because they're, they're, they're a conversation I don't want to have, but you've got to have them. Um, but no, it's brilliant. Christian's, you know, obviously been out for three games, but he's trained well. He's been, you know, helping Jamie, Ben, talking to them. So that's the, 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 the pros we have in the squad. So at the end of the day, whether we pick, they'll be happy. And, well, they won't be happy if they don't get played, but um, they'll push everyone on, and, that, and that's the group we've got. Do you think that sort of spell towards the end of the first half can show that the Christian Pierce just to steady everyone down and, and Jared as well? No, I, I just think we just, 
it's, it's, it's just attitudes, I suppose. I'm not saying we've got bad attitudes because we've got brilliant attitudes, but just in those moments where things don't go well and you're slipping over and the ref's giving you bad decisions, you just want the lads to switch on and forget about it and ignore the noise a bit. And I just think for the, for about five minutes, the noise got to us a little bit and we, you know, we just stopped working and pressing. So as soon as we reset in the change, we come at half time, we were back, we were back to our normal selves. And Mayo's got his goal through one-on-one for the third time, three matches this time he found the net. I've just said to him now, I've never known a player to go through so many times, 50 yards through on his own every week. So <laughs> it was brilliant. he needed that. He's, he's been through a couple of times and I can imagine, like you said, a third time going through thinking, oh my God, please let me score. So it was nice for him just to get a goal and, you know, it will lift his confidence. Okay. Cheers, guys.